Peace be upon you to one and all. This is I, Fatima Jannat and Aisha Mustafa signing in to celebrate National Science Day with you all virtually and happily. Start this occasion with the blessings of Almighty. I invite them in for prayer. Next I invite Gasira for welcoming you all to this occasion. Duty interested on me to welcome you all for this wonderful occasion. First of all, I would like to invite our honorable guest, Mr. T.R. Vijayan sir, who is an eminent personality, popular educationist and a subject expert in his field. Welcome you, sir. Next, I would like to invite the leader of our Sursi family, Mr. Nia Sarkara, for this wonderful occasion. Welcome you, sir. Next, I would like to invite the beloved Vice Principal, Ambiga, ma'am. Welcome you, ma'am. Next, I would like to invite the lovable academic supervisor, Safa, ma'am. Welcome you, ma'am. Next, I would like to invite all parents, teachers and my friends for this wonderful gathering. Welcome you all. It's my immense pleasure and I am so proud to welcome you all for this wonderful occasion. Welcome you all once again. Thank you, Gasira, for that warm welcome. Why should we care about science? Science is not just about innovations and new technologies. It is curiosity-based. Science occurred at the age of stones when cavemen learned what would happen when two stones were rubbed against one another. There was no internet that time, but the curiosity in their mind helped their brain grow in finding new knowledge. Now, for an innovative video presentation, I invite Hanna Riyadka. Hanna, please. Science Day is celebrated with theme that spread message about importance of science. Now let us call upon Billard Principal for his remarks on such a special day. Sir, please. Peace be upon you. Dear students, teachers and parents, may the God Almighty bless us all. Maybe this is the last assembly, last special program we are conducting this year. Throughout the academic year, we have conducted more than 40 programs. 40 special days that is more than what we do in actual classes congratulations to students and to the hard work of the teachers and this is the last assembly or last special program national science day as we know to remember the raman effect we celebrate 
uh, National Science Day on 28th February. As discussed earlier, the uh, theme of 2021 is Future of STI. STI stands for Science, Technology and Innovation. Future of STI impacts on education, skills and work. That is the theme for this year. And uh, on this Science Day, we feel it very special because of two things. One, we have got a special guest, Dr. Vimal Kumar. Uh, so he, he has been associated with our school and especially with uh, the teachers like Ambika Ma'am. And he has been helping the students and teachers for uh, increasing or instilling scientific temperament among the students and teachers. Second, Baba Atom Atomic Research Center of India, BARC, is conducting a special webinars for the students of higher grades. And 20 students from our school, class 9, class 10 and 11, 20 students from there, there got a chance to be the part of that prestigious program by central government or BARC. So because of these two things, uh, we are very happy, we feel very honored, very special on this occasion. And uh, students, uh, learning science should be for life. It's not only to, it should not be for uh, getting a degree or getting a, uh, to learn something for a living. Instead, we have to consider science as a way of living. So uh, these days when we check the courses the students select, we can see a decrease in the number of enrollment in basic science, pure science, like physics, chemistry. And there was a study recently, Government Brennan College, Talasheri. It's a government college, it was very famous, very, very famous people in India. Where teachers there, they came out successfully from that college. That has now become a kind of women's college. More than 70% of the students enrolled there are girls. Say for example, Faro College. There are also a number of girls enrolling in these, uh, these courses. Basic science or pure science. Or uh, courses like uh, humanity stream. Number of boys are very rapidly getting lower. Instead, the boys normally prefer um, like diploma courses or um, um, what should I say, like job oriented courses like that. So I, I, I would like our students, at least 15 percentage of Sarsadians, go for basic science and be scientists, be researchers, be physics, chemistry, biology teachers and serve the nation. Hopefully, uh, we will have a lot of shining stars in the field of science. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, sir, for your great words. We have the greatest honor today by having a great personality as our guest, Dr. Vimal Kumar, who is working as a professor, Department of Physics at St. Thomas College, Trishur, State Coordinator of Science Activities in General Education Department, Government of Kerala, a Technical Committee member at Vinjan Sagar Science and Technopark, Trishur. He has awarded the Abdul Salam ICTP UNESCO IAEA International Research Fellowship in 2012 and selected as Prostring Linkage in Academic Innovation and Research State Team member. So let's welcome our beloved guest of honor, Dr. Vimal Kumar, for his valuable words. Hello, Namaskaram. I am Dr. T. V. Vimal Kumar, Research St. Thomas School, Physics Department. Energy Management Centre, Government of Kerala, Smart Energy Program, Vishur Jilla Coordinator Kuriyan. Even in February, the third India Muluvan, Desiya Shastra Dina Mai Ajirikyan. Desiya Shastra Dina Dina Pratyagra in the Chal. Mahudiri Shastra Dina Nobel Samman Kuriya, Sir C. V. Raman. Adhera Dina Nobel Samman Dina Adharamai Tula, Raman Prabhavam, Ayurti Tulayati. February of the Tiana in the Pasadena Diary. Rama Parabat in the Roman Community Tana, February of the Tandi, the Asia Shasta the Namai Ajay Guru. I put the work in Mathe, February of the Tamudan, the Asia Shasta the Nam Ajayan, put in the other Shasta made the Pudibudi Mudanamai class and 
വിദ്യാർത്ഥികളിലെത്തിക്കുക എന്നുള്ളത് ശാസ്ത്ര ദിനത്തിന് വളരെ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ഒന്നാണ് ഓരോ വർഷവും ശാസ്ത്ര വിഷയങ്ങൾ വിവിധങ്ങളായിട്ടുള്ള ശാസ്ത്ര വിഷയങ്ങൾ ചർച്ച ചെയ്യപ്പെടുന്നു എന്നുള്ളത് വളരെ പ്രധാനം ആയ ഒരു കാര്യമാണ് ഈ വർഷം ശാസ്ത്ര ദിനത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ പ്രധാനമായി ഫോക്കസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ശാസ്ത്രത്തിൻ്റെ പുതിയ പുതിയ കണ്ടുപിടുത്തങ്ങൾ നമ്മുടെ വിദ്യാഭ്യാസത്തിനായാലും നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിനായാലും നമ്മുടെ ജോലി സംബന്ധമായിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങളായാലും എന്തെല്ലാം രീതിയിൽ പ്രതിഫലിക്കുന്നു എന്ന കാര്യമാണ് പ്രധാനമായിട്ട് ചർച്ച ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഈ കോവിഡ് മഹാമാരിയുടെ കാലത്ത് നമ്മൾ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ടെക്നോളജിയും അതേപോലെ തന്നെ ശാസ്ത്ര സാങ്കേതിക വിനിമയ മാർഗങ്ങളൊക്കെ വളരെയധികം കൂടുതൽ ഉപയോഗിച്ച ഒരു കാലഘട്ടമായി നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാക്കാം അത്തരത്തിൽ വിവിധ സ്കൂളുകളിൽ ഇതിനായതായിട്ടുള്ള പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങൾ മുന്നോട്ട് പോകുന്നു അതിൽ വളരെ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ഒരു ഉദാഹരണമായി പറയുന്നത് സർ സയ്യദ് സ്കൂളുകൾ സ്കൂളിൽ സയൻസ് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ശാസ്ത്ര ദിനമായി സംബന്ധിക്കുന്ന പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങൾ നടത്തുന്നു എന്നുള്ളതാണ് ശാസ്ത്ര ദിനത്തിൻ്റെ വിദ്യാർത്ഥികളിൽ ശാസ്ത്ര അവബോധം വർദ്ധിപ്പിക്കാൻ ആവശ്യമായിട്ടുള്ള പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങൾക്ക് എല്ലാവിധ ആശംസകളും നേടിയാണ് നന്ദി നമസ്കാരം Thank you so for your great work. Science has always been the most innovative section of our economy. And one of the greatest inventions that have created over the ages are the cure for deadly diseases and chronic illness. To know more about the importance of vaccination, our darlings of Mohan section have something prepared for us. So let's watch it, shall we? of prevention it is a simple safe and effective way of protection there are different type of vaccine that can be taken at the bank as bcg to the latest covid 19 bcg vaccine is given at the bank to prevent tb and bladder cancer hpv vaccine is given to prevent hepatitis b Covid-19 vaccine is used to 
Vaccination prevention is better than cure. If we take vaccine, we can prevent many diseases from entering our body. Vaccines are given before the diseases come into contact with people. Thank you little ones for that great video. Our life have gotten much more easier through the invention from masters of science. To look back on blessings of this girl. We have gotten through science. Let us invite our little stars of primary section to show them. Dear Japonio, science is involved in cooking, breathing, playing, etc. Life is unimaginable without science. Let us see some important things that we use daily and do in dangers. Egyptians are believed to start using a paste to clean their teeth around 5000 BC. India first used toothpaste around 500 BC. Hello everyone. Good morning. I'm Maryam Mitrayas. Today I'm going to talk about something that we use in our daily life. So, Babylonians were the one who invented soap in 2800 BC. They discovered that combining animal fat with wood ash. Ballpoint Pen Laszlo and Biro brothers from Argentina invented ballpoint pen. First pressure cooker appeared in 1679 as Pepin digested. Neymar first is invented. French born physicist Denis Pepin. Mayor Invention of silver glass. Mayor is credited to German chemist. Justice won Leibig. Thermometer. One form of thermometer called thermoscope, which measures step. Difference was invented by Galileo Galilei. First form of artificial refrigerator was invented by William Cannon. Scottish scientist Cannon showed rapid heating of liquid to gas, result in cooling. In 1866, George McGill received a patent for a small bedable brass paper fastener that was precursor to modern stapler. So, dear friends, science plays an important part of our daily life. It has made our life easier and more comfortable. Thank you. Thank you guys for that brilliant video. Every school holds the future of tomorrow and in such that we are blessed with the best. So let's watch the amazing creations of our beloved students and the principles of the working models they have made.
person use a sanitizer that previously used by a COVID infected person. There is a chance to spread COVID-19. So this automatic hand sanitizer will help to prevent it. So let's get started. My name is Mohammad Omer, class 8 to B. Today the experiment I will be presenting is electroplating. Electroplating is the process of applying a metal coating on, a, on another piece of metal through electro deposition process. The materials required for electroplating are copper, wire, batteries, copper sulfate solution and a piece of metal. The apparatus for the experiment is set, is set as shown in the video. We will be electroplating a small key in this experiment and copper is used is the metal used for coating. Electroplating is widely used in industry and decorative to improve the surface qualities of the object. It is used to reduce friction, prevent corrosion and many more. In this process the cathode is connected to the to the key and the anode is connected to the copper. The solution of copper sulfate is highly electrolytic which is highly conductive. The time required for the process varies on the basis of the metal, the conductivity of the solution and the volt and the applied voltage. Over here you can see the key achieving a slight difference from its original graph. And this is the copper we have used. Upon further observation, we can note that the key is sufficiently coated. This is the state of the key before electro electrolyte. And this is the coated state. Thank you and have a nice day. Friends, I am Aisha Mustafa of Class 10. Today I will show you a short video of Magic Tab. I am Yasin of class 10. Today I am here to present you a presentation on the topic resonance. Let's see the work. observe the oscillations. Here the working principle is that the maximum transfer of energy of one pendulum to the other of same length are equal. Now let's try this.
by the same principle we, we can also see that this pendulum also started to oscillate Hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, friends, for the amazing video. The development in the field of science and technology is closely related with inventions. Let us see some top development in the field of science and technology in the year of 2020. The spirit of the nation's scientific community and inventors stayed undeterred even as the COVID-19 pandemic continued to create havoc throughout the air. From making country's first hydrogen fuel cell car to developing a camera that doesn't need focusing. Here's a short bunch of exceptional accomplishments our scientists clinched in the field of science and technology in the exceptional year 2020. India's first hydrogen fuel cell car. India's first hydrogen fuel cell produced car completed trials this year. Further, the fuel cell technology emits only water, thus cutting down the emission of harmful greenhouse gases along with other air pollutants which further affects our environment greatly. Building bricks on the moon A team of researchers from the Indian Institute of Science and ISRO has developed a sustainable process for making brick-like structures on the moon. There was an additional invention by the ISRO, ISRO's Vyomitra. ISRO's Vyomitra will ride to space in the first test flight of the human space mission, Gaganyaan. She is being called a half humanoid since she will only have a head, two hands and a torso and will not have any lower limbs. She will simulate human functions before real astronauts take off. Another invention regarding space and black holes was X-ray signature of cosmic rays to identify the boundary around black holes, which unmistakably separate them from other objects in the cosmos, such as neutron stars that are comparable in mass and size. In this space, and science department continues to make us proud with the innovative ways of invention. Thank you for the wonderfully made video. The girls of Levin have prepared a way to tribute for science. So I invite them to enlighten us with the wonders of science. Science is a way of thinking much more than it is a body of knowledge. I'm Shifna Salim of Class Plus One Science and we the students of Class Plus One Science present a video on great scientists.
I'm Aisha Mustafa. Good evening to one and all gathered here in this wonderful location. I would like to present both of them. We take this golden opportunity to thank the respective chief guest of the function, Dr. Vimal Kumar, for attending this function in his busy schedule. We will cultivate the advice you give us in daily life. Thank you so I extend my gratitude to respected principal Mr. Niyas Sirakara, not only for spending his time with us today, but also for encouraging us to achieve many endeavors. Thank you so I sincerely thank respected Vice Principal Ambega Ma'am, Academic Supervisor Safa Ma'am, teaching and non teaching staff, parents, and technical members for glorifying this function. Not least, I thank my fellow students for enthusiastically arranging this function. Without you, this function would not be a success. So, thank you, my friends. Once again, I thank one and all. All heartedly, thank you. Thank you, Aisha, for that sincere show of gratitude. National Science Day is celebrated across India to appreciate the efforts of individuals and organizations that work in favor of advancement of technology. And we should also contribute to our economy. With this, let me conclude this assembly. And I hope you all have a great day ahead. Thank you all.